Hola, hola, hola. Buenas tardes. Good evening, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. And I'm gonna get my fitness planner on tonight. It's currently Sunday evening. I just took the puggos out for a walk and I'm feeling good. I'm so proud of how I did in terms of fitness this week, so I can't wait to show it off. And I need to set up um, the spread for the following week, which is the first week of March. Amazing, flipping into a new month in my tie-dye fitness planner, so that's exciting. So if you're interested in seeing how I plan out my fitness program in my Happy Planner fitness planner, then just keep on watching. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to journal, but I think this would be a great time to journal, so let me reflect a little bit on how I did this week in terms of fitness. Okay, just a quick little journal there. Let me read it. I wrote, feeling fantastic. I've been staying consistent with fitness and I can feel my body responding. I'm feeling super, super good about how I did with fitness this week. Granted, I did not hit every single one of my goals. I didn't hit every single one of my workouts that I originally planned, but that's okay because I'm still proud of what I was able to accomplish. So first off, I was walking pretty regularly. Um, and actually I totally forgot to fill in these two walking stat stickers, but I did a walk both Saturday and Sunday. I did both my front split stretch workouts on Tuesday and Thursday. I actually wasn't able to do it um, today. I mean, it's the day is not over yet, so I could still sneak this in after I finish filming this video. I think I might try to go ahead and do that because I would love to be all stretched out starting um, tomorrow, Monday. I can just hit the week, the work week running. So maybe I will go ahead and do that after this video. I filled in my Fitbit stats all week. I was at 14,000 steps, 13,000, 11,000, 11,000, 8,000, 7,000, and 14,000. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm really trying to walk at least 10,000 steps every single day. And the only days I didn't achieve that were Friday and Saturday. And then in terms of workout, I was actually running a lot this week. I'm really proud of that. The one thing I didn't do, I didn't do my ab workout or my booty workout that I had originally planned to do. I just didn't end up having time, but I did manage to sneak in some runs on those days. And honestly, the only reason why I was able to run was because I ran the mile or so that I usually walk every day to get to my office. So I park a mile off campus and then I usually walk that mile to campus. But these days, because I knew I wasn't um, going to have time to sneak in that strength workout, I ran that mile and so I snuck in that workout. <laughs> I'm all about multitasking. So I actually ran six times this week. On Monday, I ran two and a half miles. Tuesday, I ran a mile. Wednesday, I ran a little over a mile. Thursday, I ran a mile. Friday was the one day I didn't really do too much. I was so exhausted this day. I was absolutely bone tired on Friday, so I was not in the mood to do anything. Saturday, I ran 2.8 miles, and then today, Sunday, I ran 3.2 miles. So I'm feeling really good about running right now and I can definitely feel my body responding. I'm definitely feeling good about it. My body's feeling a little bit tighter, a little bit lighter, a little bit stronger, and I'm very happy with my fitness. Hydration was okay. Definitely better than previous weeks, but I can definitely see room for improvement here. And I actually just found a really huge two liter water bottle at my local Goodwill that I just picked up. And I love it because it has the markings on the side showing your progress. And I think I'm gonna be trying to finish that water bottle every single day. And I think I'm going to designate a teardrop as um, 200 milliliters. And so the 10 drops together will give you two liters. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that water bottle is going to help me hydrate for the following week. 
So that was my weekly spread and I'm going to start setting up my layout or my spread for the following week, which is February the 27th through March the 5th. I cannot believe it is already March. And before I jump into it, I just want to say that I decided to do something a little bit differently in terms of setting up my fitness spreads. Um, I've decided to use the monthly um, layout this guy right here. My dream is to sit down one day and plan out an entire month's worth of workouts. And then from there, I'll use this as a guide to set up my weekly spreads. I decided to only use this to plan out that first week of March because I don't want to plan it all out and then not use it. Like I want to give it a test run before I commit to planning out the entire month. So I decided to just plan out the first five days of March and then I will be using this as a guide to set up my first weekly spread. We'll see how it goes. I'm often guilty of planning things out really extensively and then not doing any of it. So I really want to see how this works for me. But this was inspired by MadFit. MadFit is a fitness YouTuber. I love her workouts. Um, but sometimes she releases monthly calendars of workouts and then she invites you to join her in that monthly workout program. I was inspired by that. I would love to use one of her calendars, kind of map it out here on my monthly calendar. And then from there, I'll use this as a guide to set up my weekly spread. And like I say all the time, this fitness planner is not very creative for me. I mostly use this as a functional planner and I'm going to set up my spread very similarly to how I set up this spread right here. I want my walking trackers and my stretching here at the top, my Fitbit stats here in the second row. Um, all of my runs and strength workouts can go in this grid section and then my hydration trackers can go down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set those up and I will be using this Simply Gilded washi tape just as a little decorative element. I think I might have some more decorative washi tape here that I might pull for as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to speed things up just a little bit because I'm just simply going to lay down the stickers in a very, very standard layout. This does not change from week to week. So it's not very exciting, but um, once I lay down everything, I will go ahead and come back and show you how it turned out. Okay, I set up the backbone of my spread, the foundation of my spread. Again, not super exciting. I do the same thing every week, but that's because this planner is supposed to be very functional and it's just supposed to motivate me to get into my workout clothes and work out. And I definitely think it does that. I don't think it needs to be very creative. I think it's creative because I'm using stickers and washi but it's pretty standard. I have my walking stat stickers here at the top. I designed these. Honestly, they're a little rougher on the edges, but I love them. I can't wait to do um, version number two of this walking stat sticker, but I love these because I can write down the number of walks I took, the total time I walked, the calories burned, and my mood. 
I tend to walk multiple times a day, at least two times because I have dogs and I walk them morning and afternoon. Sometimes I don't though, sometimes my boyfriend walks them because I'm running late to work or I'm coming home late. But even days that um, I'm coming home late or I'm running off to work, um, I tend to walk anyway because I have to walk a mile to my building from where I usually park on campus. Do you see Daisy here? She's <laughs> getting up on this table. I love keeping track of my walks because they are workouts in a sense. I used to be someone who didn't really count walks as workouts, but I have since changed my mind, especially because sometimes walks are the only thing I'm able to muster. And I want to celebrate the fact that I went out on a walk. Anyways, these are my walking stickers. I love my Simply Gilded Washi. It's getting me in the springtime mood. I have my Fitbit Stat stickers. I also designed these. I love these. Again, they're a little rough around the edges, like the statistics font is a little crooked and my lines aren't absolutely straight, but they achieve what they need to achieve, which is just keep track of my Fitbit stats. And these stickers save me so much time. I used to hand write, you know, steps, miles, calories, floors, um, and then I would use mild liners to set up where I was going to write down the stat. But with these Fitbit stickers, I just throw them on the page and I am done. And then I just have some more washi here. And then this last row here is my hydration tracker. Honestly, my raindrops here are a little wonky, but that's fine. I love my little cloud hydration tracker. I can't wait to do version 2.0 of this hydration tracker um, because I can definitely see where my raindrops were a little wonky. Anyway, now it's time to plan out my workouts for the week, which is, I like to use this space right here to plan out my workouts. And then um, I'm going to be again referring to the first couple of days in, Mar in March here where I already planned things out. So for Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm planning on running. So let me grab my running stickers and lay those down on the page and again these stickers save me so much time because i used to hand write um the stats that i would keep track of for my runs so i would write length time pace calories and steps and i would do that for every single run but with these stickers i just slap them on the page so i'm running thursday saturday and sunday and then what else did i decide to do um i'm stretching thursday and sunday as well so let me grab some smaller boxes here let me grab my fitness sticker pack which is a bunch of fitness sticker books from happy planner just collated into this mega pack i'm thinking of grabbing um i kind of want a smaller sticker here because i don't have that much room anymore <laughs> on my spread so let me see maybe these smaller box stickers like today's focus it's gonna cover up some of the dates at the top here but i think that's gonna be fine so let me grab two of these stickers um i said sunday and thursday and then I'll just write here, front split stretch. This is a 15 minute stretch. Um, I do it all the time. It's from the YouTuber MadFit, love her. Okay, and then what else did I have planned? I wanted to do abs, a 10 minute ab workout and a 20 minute full upper body workout on Wednesday. So let me set that up. I'm gonna grab my fitness sticker books again and I'm gonna grab some boxes here. So I'll grab this larger box for the 20 minute workout and then this smaller box for the five or no the 10 minute ab workout so we have those workouts set up and then on friday i said i was going to do a total full body beginner workout so let me grab another box here I'll just grab a workout sticker like so and then write um, beginner. What about a cute work it sticker right there? Perfect. And then that leaves Monday and Tuesday. Let's see, what should I do? 
honestly, I think on a Monday I'm going to run. So let's put down a run tracker sticker there. And honestly, I think I'm going to run Tuesday as well. Nothing too exciting here. So let's add another run tracker there. I'm really focusing on running because I have a goal of running a marathon. And so I'm really trying to increase my mileage and get my body used to running again. I used to run a lot more before I had two surgeries and COVID and life got in the way. Also, honestly, running has always been the go-to workout for me. I tend to be more motivated to run than to do strength workouts. And so I'm really just trying to warm myself up into the fitness routine. Um, and I'm going to try to make it easy for myself by giving myself um, running workouts. And that way I just warm my body up and I get into the fitness mode and these strength workouts come easier to me. So that's pretty much the week. I love it. I have the sidebar left here. Um, I'm going to leave this little space up here to journal. And then for this sidebar here, honestly, I'm not really sure what I want to do in that sidebar. I'm still trying to figure out what it is I want to do in that sidebar. I could add some cute little like motivational boxes. This one's cute. Be happy, be active, be healthy. Um, don't quit. A little progress each day adds up to big results. I love that. Um, I would love to add a workout girl here. So I'll add this beautiful lady. Maybe like right there. Love her. Maybe a nice quote. I love the wrong wrong fitness planner. Um, like that. And then I can just journal here. And I think that's it. I think that is my fitness spread for the coming week. It looks amazing. I love it so much. I love me a good full spread. And I really am hoping that I'm able to get back into my strength workouts. That was the one thing I feel like I wasn't really able to accomplish this week. I just ran a lot, walked a good amount. Um, and I just didn't do strength. I did stretching and I ran and I walked. But here I really want to get back into strength. And I'm really hoping that my hydration tracker looks a lot more filled than last week. I think this new water bottle is really going to help me. Anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and spending so much time with me. I really appreciate it. Good luck with your fitness program. I believe in you. You can do it. Just get back on the horse and get back into your fitness program. I promise you that every day is going to be easier. All right, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.